What is up, players? It is I, Commissar Bane. You know, when you are a man like me traveling around the universe in your starships and whatnot, it is hard to find the time to go out and date. And that's why I joined Krieg Harmony, the online dating site, where I found these lovely ladies, the Kurganova sisters. Oh, look at this. Ivanka, Malinka, Olga, and even a little Charlie. So let the games begin. What up, players? It's Wobas Tay up in this bird. Look what I got. I went out and I treated myself to some awesome limited edition Kurganova sister sets. Or one, it's just one. So uh, these all came out separately. They're from, let's see if we can see, uh, RagingHeroes.com. Oh my gosh, this company, awesome stuff. I actually found this on eBay. This guy was getting rid of it. And um, so I picked it up for a pretty good deal, I think, looking at the other, uh, at the prices that they were going for from the actual company. So really, really happy with it. Uh, I think the sculpts are really great. So we're going to take a look at it and then I'm going to build them up. So here's the first one. This one is uh, obviously looks like the uh, first sister, Ivanka. So you see she's got uh, in the picture a what looks to be either a bolt pistol. Yeah, it looks like a bolt pistol and a chain uh, sword or like a big, a big sword. So the cool thing about this kit though is that unlike the Games Workshop met medals, the old uh, sculpts is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. Unlike that one, these girls come with a bunch of different options. So you don't have to do or uh, use the ones that come in the kit. Yeah, I guess it is this one. So they have s slots in the shoulder here, a square peg there that it will go into. And I'm thinking of what's, what's the best way to run run them. Uh, I might just rent them as they look on on the on the uh, box art, but there are other options. So this one, this is the one that that looks like on the box art, right? It's, you've got the the bolt pistol looking thing and the chain sword. There's some flash on it. It's not even a chain sword. I'm sorry. It's like a power sword. And there's some are there mold lines? I think I think I can see some, but I mean, look at the detail on the of this sword which you don't see on the on the box cover it looks really really cool really nice as for the models themselves beautifully done they've got these crazy stiletto boots and here's a sword holster and look at the back here some crazy pseudo uh, Europine language there. I don't even know what this design on the back is supposed to be. I think it's some like embossing, but definitely can use these as commissars for my 40k armies. Because why wouldn't you? Uh, some other optional uh, right arms we'll see that we're going to be using for uh, in just a second is this one. And uh, I'm not sure what these kinds of swords are called. Are they rapiers? The ones with these like curved hand guards? But all the swords, all the weapons look different. Let's see if I can organize the pieces here. The second sister is this one with her tongue out, like she's aiming. And she's all coy and sassy. So there's that one. And I think this one is the arm that goes with her. She's got her her sword like slung over her shoulder like that. The other gun is aiming forward. And you can also give her a power sword, this one, which is more like a kind of saber. And those are her options. And all the girls come with these gas masks also, which are an option that you can put them on or not. I'm going to actually take the gas mask and attach it to their waists so they will not be wearing it. Because why waste a perfectly good female sculpt by putting a gas mask on their face? I resent that remark. So there's the second one, and um, <clears throat> see what do we have here? More gas masks. Gas masks are terrific. 
stylish and uh, what's the word? Practical. Who said that? And here's the last one, Olga. What a beautiful name. So, oh man, look at these boots. Kinky. And she's got, I think this one's got an eye patch. Yep, she's got an eye patch. Okay, so what does she have? You can give her either this, uh, this bolt pistol here, or the coolest thing is this, this uh, cigarette holster. A cigarette in a cigarette holder, and she will end up looking like that. So Raging Heroes definitely knows what they're doing. They've got the 3D imaging and the sculpting down. They've Their sculptors are obviously taking cues from Warhammer 40k to use these figures uh, in, that, in that line, and why wouldn't you? Um, full price though, very, uh, you know, this is something that you would get for, for a gamer or a collector. And maybe not somebody who's just using Imperial Guard as a secondary uh, army or not really serious about collecting them. You want to get these figures if you are really into the painting and if you're really going to gonna do a good job on them. If you're not so much interested in the painting but you still like the figures, I would say get them anyway because guaranteed you might be the only one in your area that has them. Last but not least, let's take a look at... Oh, there's one arm here with the chainsword. Yeah, this looks like it's supposed to be a substitute for a chainsword. It's got the little teeth in it. Charlie! Arr. So he's got this uh, Prussian? German? What kind of helmet is this? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Helmet and he's smoking a cigar. How awesome is that? So you've got this little doggy here that I'm probably going to paint up in a nice dark rich brown color. And look at this. He's also on the cover of the box. Kurganova Sisters limited edition collector's box set. Beautiful. So I'm going to glue these ladies together and um, we will come back and I will uh, wrap up with it and we'll show you what they look like all put together, all built up, ready for priming, uh, next to a regular Imperial Guard Commissar. I wonder who that will be. And then uh, take it out for priming because the lady boss actually wants to uh, get some paint on these figures, which I think is going to be super awesome. So stay tuned. So here we go, getting started. First, I clean off all the mold lines using the back end of a hobby knife. And then I was setting it into the base that comes with these figures, and I decided to clip them off the bases and put them onto one of the Secret Weapons Miniatures trench works bases. So here I am putting plastic putty from Vallejo onto the different parts just to help secure it as I attach it with the super glue. I use Zappa Gap in the green bottle and uh, combined together with the plastic putty it makes a really strong solid bond when you're first putting it on. And so uh, I think this is the s still the first figure. It's got a nice area right behind the arm. I, I don't know if you saw but by the elbow it's got a great spot that can be used to put in some plastic putty or green stuff to help seal it even better. Here's the second figure that I decided to use the cigarette holder, I believe. She's got the arm that connects at the elbow, so uh, it's a really, really good close join. And with some plastic putty, again, makes it really easy to fit. Again, these are the secret weapons miniature bases. I saw some great examples online, though, of people who've put on extended bases with cork and it's hard because their legs are so spread apart. So when you put them onto a base, it usually goes over any 25 millimeter bases. So when I go back, I'm definitely going to be using, uh, probably pulling them off and putting them onto a special uh, custom made cork base that overextends so that you can pin them in. And here's the one with her tongue sticking out. I decided to use a power sword instead of a chain sword with her. And I'm just adding glue and putty onto the base. And this is the one that I had the hardest time with on the base. Do you see how the feet stick op up over the base? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you think of the super fast forward? Oh, look, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, players. The Kruganova sisters and Charlie all built up. So now I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a review, reactions, and... Uh, kind of my thoughts on on the on the kit. 
these are, what do you think, Lady Boss, looking at these figures, here's the one with the cigarette in the holder, here's the one aiming her bolt pistol, mm. and here's the uh, first one, is actually the best glued down. So I decided to take them off the, their tabs, their metal base tabs, and put them on these trench work spaces, but because their stances are so wide, like I said in the um, build part of the video, it's really hard to glue them down. I might have to take them off and repin them later. Uh, the exception being Charlie, who I just clipped off his base and just put a little bit of putty there and just a lot of super glue. And he has a wide bottom, uh, wide flat surface area that he's sitting on. So I just put a lot of super glue there. Um, but what do you think of the figures? Sexy. Oh yeah, <laughs> sexy. They look really good. Um, it's a nice change. It's a nice change. From the usual gore and grossness. From the usual gore and go grossness. So I thought for some videos when she's feeling up to it, I get the lady boss's feedback on the builds and the models and how they stack up. They look a bit, look, they look a little bit taller. Their proportions are, they have long legs. She's wearing heels. Oh. Yeah, so she is wearing some <laughs> stiletto heels, but still yet, Commissar Bane may actually be shorter in real life than I thought. Urgh. Don't make fun of me! <laughs> so I decided to leave the gas masks off because they are so awesome, but they're so awesome, but they would cover their faces. But I want to show you what they would look like if the gas mask was on. So here's the girl with the cigarette holder. There's something to be said about the uh, oh, no. anonymous. No, you don't like it. You take it off. No, not nah. really. Yeah, I, I I much prefer the surface area of the face to play with. You can't cover the pretty faces. Yeah, the faces look really good. Um, but I have seen concept art of the of the girls. Like mm, here, look at me. look at this one. Look at this one. With their face covered. Maybe, maybe that one. Maybe this one. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. V for Vendetta. What what movie was it that had yeah. gas masks on the female soldiers? I don't remember. Oh gosh, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> for ease of build, for looks, I and um, for the you, you get some extra bits, but I can't really imagine where you would use them because the arms are a little bit smaller, and they're. Uh, I don't see where you could use them in a 40k figure because the 40k figures are a little bit more exaggerated and uh, not really very proportionate, uh, proportional. But these these look really close to what a uh, the, the 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 width and the size of a real person's arms. Whereas when you look at a guardsman here, a Kree's guardsman, their the arm is a little bit bigger, the sleeve is poofier, especially the the because the great coats are a little bit uh, baggier. Could be also because they're women, so the great coats are a little bit more fitted. But love the figures. I give them A plus. Charlie, great bonus to have. We're gonna have a little Charlie running around on the field here, <laughs> give, barking out orders. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Do you wanna say anything else about this kit? Latest players. 